so much replacing guys. It's like now it's all right now you you have the chance to work with guys fresh totally on you, you know, from your perspective. And that's that's the challenge and just trying to get the guys to see the way we see and, and play the way we expect them to play and sort of almost like a like a clean slate, which you know is different than in the years past. Quentin's been receiving a lot of praise, and he's been waiting his turn to get this opportunity. What have you seen from him? Q, Q's awesome. Uh, awesome young man, great young man to be around, awesome to, to be with every day. His, his voice is like, um, he needs to go into doing voiceovers when he's done. He's got a great voice, a powerful voice. And, but Q's, Q's done a great job, even before when he wasn't the starter, of being a, a strong leader. Uh, he's never afraid to say something if someone steps out of line, and that's what you look for. That's what you look for in the middle linebacker. For one, and that's what we look for in, in teammates as well. So he's done an awesome job. What do you got your football academy out there in Spear Lake? How'd yeah. that go? It was good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, some great kids, and um, it's been fun to watch the kids that have been coming from year one. Right, this was year five this yeah. past year, and seeing the kids that now they're you know, when they first came there in seventh grade, and now they're in they're going to be juniors. And yeah. just seeing their development, it's been a lot of fun. Very good. Let's talk about uh, last year's linebacking core. How great is it for a coach to see those guys get drafted in the NFL? Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, okay, I gotta be honest. It's pretty cool it's because I know how hard they've worked and, and you know, when first started coaching them, had them write down their goals and write down their dreams, so I know, so I can help them. Uh, and you know, each one of them put that down as a goal and see them, seeing them accomplish it on their way to, uh, to you know, leaving, leaving college and where they're going from here has been awesome. Let's talk about the uh, linebackers then that you expect to uh, start to this year, then kind of taking over for those guys. It's it's wide open right now. You know, I think um, Coach, Coach Reed will say this too. I think the only spot that's really solidified is probably Quinton's. And, you know, just got to sort of see where everything shakes out and, and see how the guys move up, see how everyone progresses. I know the position I coach, Leo position, is wide open. And, and um, the guys know that, and it's going to be competitive, and that's only going to make our group better. I, I think it's the experience there. I, I mean, I, th I think it's just he is so much more confident. He's just uh, he's done it. He's been out there. He's made the calls. He's, he's had good days, bad days. You know, he's, he's just more mature in terms of playing the quarterback position. Uh, the things that we worked on in the spring, we'll continue to work on is. You know exactly where he puts the ball now because he feels pretty comfortable about where to go with the ball. Now we're talking about where should the ball be uh, in that, you know, on the receiver. Uh, thought he did a much better job in the spring of uh, looking safeties off, using his vision. And that all comes just with the experience. It comes with confidence that this, I know what's happening over here, so I can move the safety and then come back over here when I need to. Um, to me, that's, that, that's the biggest difference. we don't know about it. I don't know. It's, it seems like everything has been written at this point, um, which is a good thing. I, you know, I, there's not much I don't think anybody uh, doesn't know. He likes to hunt, he likes to fish, and he likes to play football. And so those are, you know, things that are, are good things. I'm sorry. Obviously, we're, we're very happy that he likes to play football, but I wish I knew something. It's kind of all out there now at this point. You know, we've got guys going fishing with him. I don't know if Rick's here today, but guys go fishing. I, even I haven't been fishing with him. <laughs> what about the offensive line as well? What don't you know now that you have to find out before? Obviously? We still don't know who will start for us. I think that's a, um, I think that's something we're looking to find out. We don't know who our best five are. I think we have a pretty good idea who some of them are, um, but there's there's spots that are open. Things can move. Nothing's set in stone. Uh, every position is open. Obviously, you know you got a guy like Brandon. I wouldn't expect Brandon to be displaced. I wouldn't expect Austin Blythe to be displaced. Um, and there's some other guys I wouldn't expect to be displaced, but. There's competitions that are always open, and so I think what's important for us over the next, you know, 25 days or so is to, to really nail down who's going to be playing for us. And it may be more than five guys. It may only be five guys, but I know we better find at least five. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're not going to be very good. What about work on with him, and he definitely has to be a more vocal uh, leader out there. And you know, some guys are like that. Some, guys, but you don't need to do it all the time. You know, do it by example, and and when you got to say something, you say it. And I'm not really worried about how, you know, I'm not worried about him doing it every play. You know, do it when you need to. If you need to say something, say it. If not, just keep doing what you're doing, and your play will show other guys to follow. You know, and that's what he needs to do.
I think he's a very smart kid. He's very dedicated. He's got great leadership skills. Um, he's all in. He studies the game, and I'm looking for some good things to happen for him. Uh, you know, he has a lot to do. A lot, it's a different, totally different position than he was last year. But I think it, it might even help him a little bit. You know, more being inside the box, be a run player at times, and be able to. You know, he needs to get more vocal and be a uh, commander back there in the secondary. Chris, I want to ask you a little bit about uh, Brandon Church. And obviously, he's he's the guy that a lot of people have been talking about here in the offseason. Can you talk about his uh, transformation from year one to now his senior year? I would say, you know, from from the very get go, he was always he's always been outstanding in his attitude and approach, um, and that hasn't changed one bit. Extremely competitive. You know, when he walks in the room every day, he kind of looks at you, smiles, winks. Like, he is like, his attitude is like, all right, what do you got for me today? And so from an attitude perspective, that's never changed. He's been extremely competitive, hardworking, high energy kind of person. Um, but he came in and he was very, very raw. I mean, this is his resume. So, you know, you guys know his resume. You don't need to hear it, but he's a multiple sport athlete. Competing at an extremely high level in high school. And it was just so much fun because he was so athletic and so tough and competitive and hardworking that you knew that he was going to take off. Right? And every time he came in the weight room and every time he came out the field to run and do his speed work and, and, and to train, he just got better. He didn't have any that bad days. It was just one good day after the next. Were, were you around with that uh, when that video took place uh, earlier uh, or a couple weeks ago? What do you mean, was I around? Were, were you, did you see it, it take place in action? Uh, I you, shot it, yeah. You shot it? Okay. My, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was you then, huh? Okay. It was, it was, pretty, it was a pretty bad quality video. It was on an iPad. <laughs> what did you think? Um, I, it's just a matter of, I tell you, when, when that happens in our facility, what you can't underestimate is the effect it has on his teammates, because when his teammates see something like that go on, they start to they start to think about what's possible. And you'd be shocked, you know, the lead dog sets the pace for the pack. All of a sudden, a guy that maybe he cleans 250 for a triple, he thinks, geez, I might be able to clean 260 for a triple, because Brandon just did four, you know, 443. And so the effect that he has on his teammates is great, and, and that's as much as anything why you want to. You want to capture that for the archives because you want people to see what your teammates are capable of. And then when you see young people sitting next to Brandon in the training table or sitting next to him in meetings, or they start to realize how much goes into it. It's not just what happens in the weight room on the field, but his commitment to eating, sleeping, the way he approaches his, his work it affects everybody. Uh, and then also see some of the younger guys like uh, you know, Andrew Stone and, and Riley McCarron, uh, Andre Harris, Derek Mitchell. So, so I mean, there's a, there's a good sized group, yeah. you know, that, that uh, that's really going to, it's going to be competitive. Yeah, and Kevante, you know, one of your leaders out there on the field, probably uh, teaching the younger guys a lot of things. Yeah, he does. He's, he's, he's since I've been here, uh, he's kind of been a guy that I can uh, put the load on. And uh, he always sets an example in practice, whether it be, uh, you know, blocking or, or catching or, or uh, you know, individual drills. He's always the first one in line. He, he's always going 100 miles an hour. So so I think if he continues on that path, you know, if you expect big plays. Well, what do you expect from the passing game now that uh, Rudock's got another year under his belt and, and kind of more in sync with those receivers? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, year two, um, hopefully there'll be a jump. Uh, you know, that's yet to be seen. But, but I, I think the receivers and quarterbacks along with, uh, you know, C.J. Beathard, I mean, I think they've got a comfort level now with one another uh, because, you know, they worked so hard in the summer. They had a good spring. So, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can make that next jump. I was going to ask you real quick about Powell. Uh, injury update on that? Yeah, you know, we don't talk about injuries, but, uh, you know, they will be ready to go, you know, for the season. And so, so we're excited about it. Very good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.